Now that the sales manager's widget has been created and catalogued, I can drop him an email to let him know that it is ready to be included on his dashboard, or I can include it myself so that it, that it will be displayed the next time he logs into his dashboard. Dashboard and users are created and maintained using the admin area, and that is a web-based portal which we'll go to now on the system. Now users can log into their dashboard and the admin area is located from uh, this link in the top right hand corner here. The password for the admin area is simply admin and when we log in we're presented with three links one is users and one's widgets and dashboards. Adding and maintaining users click the appropriate link and we can add a user and we simply give the user an ID, a name uh, a dashboard, so this could be my dashboard, a password, an email if you wish to, you can delete users and obviously change them in here as well, so we'll just save this one. To edit, just simply click on the edit and we can go in here and we can put an email address in if we want to or a password and just save that away. So very, very easy to use. If we go back to the main menu, adding widgets or is just as easy if we go in and we look at one so this uh, sub customer ranking report we edit then you can see that uh, we've got a widget name a description a subroutine that we're going to call and users we just cancel out of there adding a widget that have obviously been created within open insight by our developer so we'll add this widget and I'm going to call this um, MDP um, description uh, my new widget this particular widget is sub bar region I've already entered this in before so I can come down and just select that one and the users I could obviously put just a uh, rev guy in here and only rev guy would be able to use it I could put MDP in here and only MDP would be able to use it or I can leave it blank. If I leave it blank, it means that this widget can be used by absolutely anybody on the system. They can add it to their dashboards. So I'm quite happy to do that. So I'll just save that away. And that's now added. So if I go back to the main menu, I can go to a dashboard and then I can add that wid widget to a dashboard. Um, the examples application that we've been looking at, if we go into edit here, you'll be able to see that the dashboard ID is examples, the description is examples dashboard. The layout is two columns. Now that means that we've got a header, a body area with two columns and a footer. We're only allowing RevGuide to access this particular um, dashboard. And at the bottom here you can see where you pick the widgets. So there's a whole load of widgets that have been defined here as we just defined our own one. The location where you want that widget to be. So the um, little report, the text report was in the header. The pie chart was in column one, the bar chart was in column two, and the last five orders was in the footer, and then we've got our sort order. So very easy to create these dashboards, very easy to maintain them. Now the really nice thing about this is when our sales manager comes in in the morning and he runs up his application and he grabs a cup of coffee and he just simply looks through here, he's just running down, he can immediately see that, oh, Okay, the sales in that particular region are well down on the other two regions. This is the rep that we need to bring in. He's not needed to worry about reports, printing off reports, waiting for them to be printed, going through the detail, maybe dropping that into Excel to have a look at it. He can immediately see that he's got a problem in this particular state, leaving New Jersey and New York alone. So these are very powerful, very visual, very useful um, components for people. I hope that you found this introduction to Open Insights Bravo Dashboard useful and I look forward to hearing about your use of the dashboard within your application very soon. That just really leaves me to say thank you for your time today and I look forward to seeing you again very soon. Bye bye.